In this video we're going to learn how to install mods on Worm Unlimited. If you're unsure where your Worm Unlimited is installed, you can find out where it is by right clicking on your Worm Unlimited in Steam under Library, going to Properties, and then clicking on Local Files and then Browse. That'll take you to your Worm Unlimited folder, but you need to be aware that you're going to be installing things in your worm launcher folder. So you want to go into the worm launcher folder which looks like this. We do not have a mods folder here yet but we will as soon as we start installing mods. To install mods what we want to do is first go to our browser which happens to be on the other screen for some reason. Um, I'm going to go to freth.us slash player. Under that under my wiki I have how to install mods and step one is to download the mod launcher so we're going to do that so I'm going to save it under downloads and then I'm going to go there and I'm going to right click on it and open with Windows Explorer this opens it as if it were a folder if you have something else like an extractor uh, like WinRAR or something like that, you can use that. An archive program, uh, in other words, 7-zip or whatever, you can do that. But this is going to be uh, the way I do it. Control-C to copy, or right-click and copy, whichever. After you've selected everything, you hold Shift and select. And then um, you can copy that, and you go back to your uh, worm launcher, and then you just control V or paste and then it pastes those files and notice that it has the mods folder which we copied which has all the items that we need for the mod launcher plus it has the patcher.bat which is necessary for uh, patching the game now that we have the mod launcher installed we need to install mods now we can go down through here and pick whatever mods we want and download those like say I want live map so I'm gonna do a direct download of that and I'm going to open that one with the Explorer I'm going to copy the mods folder and I'm gonna go back to my uh, worm launcher folder and I'm gonna paste it in here because it's going to then throw it in the mods folder and it just did. So let's go ahead and do another one. And we can go down the list and do all of them individually and we'll be able to install those. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back over to my worm launcher folder, control V to paste and you'll see that it installed the um, compass and you keep doing this. Now some of these you're gonna to have to pay attention. Some of them might not have the correct structure in them. This one has the mods folder. Some of them might be uh, from within the mods folder itself. Let me see if I can find one. keep going here. Um, let's pick one like Cave Vision. Let's see if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. This one happens to be on a Google uh, Drive, so we can download it from that. And notice that this one does not have the mod folder because this is meant to go inside the mod folder. So this one, um, what we're going to do is I'll just open it like I normally did. I'll go into the folder, open it with the Windows Explorer, copy these, and since th it doesn't have mods here, it has to go inside the mods folder. So I'll go back to the mods folder, paste it in there see how that works. Uh, your mods folder is going to contain the properties files if necessary for the mods plus the mod 
uh, folders themselves. Let's see. Okay, let's say we're happy with these mods and we want to patch it. We just double click on the patch.bat and it'll say it's now patched. Okay, then all you have to do is go load in worm and they should work. If you find that worm doesn't load for whatever reason or that you have an error with your um, with your patcher then you're gonna have to go back and figure out what the problem is chances are it's because you copied and pasted it into the wrong folder okay so we're waiting for this to load notice that we have our live map and we should have improved compass which we do and I did caves did I do cave vision? Yeah, I did. So um, let's go south into the cave, and we should be able to see everything bright in the cave. See, it's already bright. So all three mods that we installed are working, and it's that simple. I'm going to go ahead and close and go back and let's see, pull up my web page here. There are quite a few mods, and you just have to pay attention to how they're structured. Uh, some of them are going to have um, the correct structure, some of them will not, just like the cave vision didn't. And you have to pay attention and uh, put them where they need to be. So if it has a mods folder, you know it goes in the main worm launcher folder when you copy and paste it. If it does not have the mods folder, then it has to go inside the mods folder. So you have to go into the mods folder and copy it into that. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Um, again, this is the, the patcher that installs the mods. And these are the mods down here that you can download and install. Uh, one other note is that on Mythmore, we do not allow the ESP mod, nor the scanner mod, nor the worm helper mod. So do not install those on Mythmore. If you need any help, just let me know.